We've just dug up some alder trees from down near our riparian zone there. These have grown up in an area where we have other things and we don't need alder there. And I wanted to point out how to select good material to plant. This is a very vigorous young alder. It's about two years old. It's got a nice thick base, nice massive roots. Looking to transplant, you want to get a nice thick tree with lots of buds, lots of branches, very vigorous. That's ready to go in there. And what I do is trim off some of the lower branches so that it has less live mass to keep going because it's going to go through transplant shock and I'm going to minimize how much it has to put out in the first year. So the next thing we're going to do is go up into this ice storm destruction zone where the trees were felled by ice and wind and going to replant with alder. These guys. One of the things we have to do before planting is preparing the site. As you can see, there's a lot of downed brush in the area. I've cut all this down because if I don't, it will compete with this alder. And the trick is to get the alder up above the brush as quickly as possible. So at least I'm going to level the brush going in. I may have to come back in in a year and cut the brush back down. Once the tree gets above, I'm not worried about it. But if you don't do that, your tree won't survive, or it'll be very weak. It's a good day, it's moist, it's not too messy, the soil is wet. Fortunate to have very soft soil here, down into the hole. Backfill, camper in really good. Nice kind of wet hillside, not too hot. This has a defect there and straighten it out. There we go, there's a new tree. I expect it to get another three feet this year if it's really in a good place. A fine specimen. This is all growth from last year. And they're up almost three feet. 